my dearest Parsa. Somehow we found each other in a neuroscience lab in Bozeman, Montana. (laughs) So many seemingly simple decisions caused our paths to cross. And if I could do it all over again, I would. (laughs) If it would mean finding you. I will never be able to thank you enough for the love you've given me but I wanted to thank you for a few things today. Dr. Michaela. (laughs) Remember when we talked about being each other's travel buddies? That night we spent all night walking on the streets, ordering old fashioned at 4 a.m. and eating at Cafe Tomato. Seven years, or to be exact, 2,542 days later, here we are. I want to say a very big thank you, and I'm very glad that we got to spend our time here in Portland with you, and very jealous and happy for the people in Seattle who are going to be your new wonderful friends. So thank you very much for letting us be a part of your life. Parsa is just as kind as Michaela, such a kind soul, but he can dish an impressive amount of sass, if you didn't know. And shortly after meeting the two of them, I realized that he was an excellent chef, but more importantly, he had found his perfect sous chef in Michaela. And it was easy to see how compatible these two were and how after many years together, they have become each other's home away from home. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Because of you, I can be my true self. Thank you for being my light during my darkest days. Because of you, I felt unbelievable happiness and joy. Now that I'm standing here, I wanted to promise you to always hold your hands and keep them warm no matter how rocky, slippery, or rainy it gets. I promise to be on your side and remind you every day how much I love you. You are my love, my soulmate, my best friend, and my family. And loving you, Parsa, is the greatest thing I'll ever do. Love you and spend the rest of my life with you. P.S. Slinky wanted me to remind you that she's been with you longer than I have. (laughs) But she doesn't have any objection to this wedding. I now pronounce you married. You may now spouse. Well, overall, we can't wait to see where this next chapter in life takes you guys, what next adventures you'll have in Seattle, and what new friends Slinky will make. All I have to say, we're wishing you a dairy-free and a gluten-free forever kind of love. Cheers, Cheers. Nikhil and Parsa. (laughs)